what is going on you guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today i'm coming at you guys with a little bit of information bro i don't even really know what i'm coming at you with but i'm coming at you guys telling you that i'm about to be par participating in my first ever master duel tournament if you guys know dk on youtube um, I joined him on YouTube and I'm going to be playing in his Master Duel Meta Tournament that he has every Sunday. So I'm probably going to be playing in these every week now because I am in and I can get in for free. Um, so what I'm going to talk to you guys about in this video is the cards I'm going to play to try and win the tournament to try to set up best, um, specifically hand traps. Hand traps that I'm going to play and going second cards I'm going to, going to play to try to beat the meta because it's a little bit different, you know, playing in ranked duels versus playing in like a tournament where a lot of people are playing the best decks everybody's obviously good at the game or decent so some things that i've noticed i do watch dk's youtube and i do watch his tournament videos like the ones he put like the replays when he streams his tournament he'll post the replays on youtube and stuff like that so i watch those and i see a lot of prank kids i see a lot of stuff i see a lot of cross out designator so this is sort of the list i'm going to bring to the tournament i'm going to I'm going to play prank kids but i'm going to add a few few cards like evenly matched was a card that i was going to going to play i still am going to play this card i might cut it down to two though um because a lot of people have been playing evenly matched in his tournaments i've been seeing a lot of people have been running the evenly matched obviously because the adventure stuff is everywhere and they have tokens so you uh evenly match to make them banish everything but the token um, but it's obviously a tournament, so, you know, you want to be well-rounded and cover a lot of bases. So, we do have the one Harpy's Feather Duster in here for back row, in case we come across Eldritch or something like that. Might even throw in Rip Roaring and get Rip Roaring on some people, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, still, the main, the main hand trap that I decided that I'm going to be running right here is Lancia, Artifact Lancia. I'm probably gonna i'm definitely gonna put it up to three and test that out you guys can see my secret rare gems it, it, it's, it's a little struggle it's, it's a little struggle but we got 20 gems so i'm gonna craft another one of these and be practicing and ranked you know just practicing play testing um but artifact lancia i think will be very good because you won't be able to get evenly matched which a lot of people are playing and we will come across a lot of prank kids mirror matches so the Lancia will be nice because I'm sure I'm going to get cross out designated. You activate Lancia. They can't hit you with cross out. They can't hit you with call by the grave. They can't hit you with evenly matched. Uh, this is obviously good against like virtual world. Any deck that banishes Gizmek, whatever it is. Lancia, I think, is slept on right now, especially for how the meta is right now in Master Duel. Rank Kids being the best deck. Cross out being one of the most popular cards. Evenly matched, gaining a lot of popularity because of the adventure stuff. I think Lancia is definitely a card that I'm going to be playing three of in the tournament in the main deck. Three of main deck. Let's get it. But another card that I do not have that I want to have for this tournament is right here. Where is it at? Right here. Ghost Bell. I want to add Ghost Bell because obviously it stops people from banishing a card from the graveyard. So it protects you from Call by the Grave. Say you get... Um, you go into your bow wow route right and this is this will be good because this is a lot of times i won't go for bow wow because i'm afraid to get called by the grave even though you know you can get hit with um valor or imperm on verte if you go the verte route uh, but if you have enough pranks in your hand and then you just doodle do and add back and have all either one prank kid on the field add back the fusion after you dump it off the green and have two prank kids in the hand then you can make you can make butler on your opponent's turn without like you know unless they kaiju you, your monster that you have on the field like say you have blue on the field and you have green and red in your hand if they kaiju you, your blue you're kind of you're kind of screwed but that's the only thing like you you try to play around one thing and you play into another thing right so this bow out loses to call by the grave but with the ghost bell in here it will protect you from call by the grave so that's one thing that i'm liking as well that i might throw in a ghost bell it's just an ultra rare bro that's the only thing the ultra rares they're just tough they're just tough to tough to acquire tough to get um but yeah man this is probably the deck that i'm going to be taking my first ever master duel tournament i'm gonna be posting some replays for you guys of the duels and stuff like that 
um, after the tournament's over. The tournament is on Sunday, I believe. And we also have the Duelist Cup coming for uh, like a Master Duel hosted tournament. So this is my list that I'm probably going to be taking into the 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 decades tournament here so we'll just go ahead hop into one replay give you guys a little bit of footage here prank kids versus i don't even remember what deck but i have been testing a lot you guys know we got reset we got reset to a uh, platinum tier five so i'm probably also going to be doing a video where i'm like trying to get to diamond one i'll use prank kids or whatever deck uh virtual world sword soul and i'll try to win my way all the way up to diamond one so you guys can see right here we got the evenly matched we have the infinite impermanence and three print kids in hand unfortunately we don't have access to our adventure stuff um uh, i'm pretty sure i'm playing foolish yeah i'm playing foolish burial in this deck for sure so uh we don't have protection from ash but he didn't have ash so we are actually good here we go into doodle do and we add the fusion to our hand Playing around called by the grave. Not gonna go into the bow wow route. But you guys can see right here, if you get enough prank kids in your hand, then you don't even need sometimes you don't need to extend to do other things. Sometimes, like right here, I have every piece that I need. I even have my shuffle back. So I have everything I need plus imperm. And he hasn't activated any hand traps or anything like that. For some reason, I don't know why, but Platinum seems to be a little more difficult than, uh, seems to be a little more difficult than, um, Diamond, bro. Sometimes these guys are just a little bit crazy in here. But we go ahead and go into Butler after he uses Lightning Storm. So always, always when you're going first with Prank Kids, just put everything in defense, bro, just to play around Lightning Storm. And right here we get dropleted and he discards his dark hole which he actually could have just dark hold i'm not sure about the numeron stuff like do you do i have to have a monster on the field for you to do this if numerons in your field and you control no monsters for summon but banish them during your neck so if he would have dark hold my field he probably would have won i don't know if numeron has a restriction to where i need to have a monster or something i'm not seeing one but if he would have used that dark hole instead of the droplet, like, I can't stop the dark hole. But I do have the evenly matched, and this is why this card is just a house, bro. Like, the card is so good, but like I said, everybody's ready for it. So once a card is, once everybody's ready for a certain card, it, it becomes less good, right? Like, everybody knows about it, and obviously people are playing stuff. Well, now me, like Lancia, and... Um, yeah, that's really the only thing that stops it. But Lancia and any like Omni Negate or anything, people are just ready. So when once they become ready for a card, it just becomes less good, obviously, because people are ready for it. They have things to stop it, a la Lancia. So right here, uh, I'm just thinking of a way to kill this man. Luckily, we got the Lampsies 500 burn every time. So that's a thousand damage I did over two turns without even having a battle phase. I only have to put up seven thousand damage right here. We're at two four five thousand going to do do we're at six thousand we're at six thousand life or at six thousand damage on board excuse me not six thousand life and then we go ahead activate grab the last prank to our hand ditch add back the recycle add back the pandemonium and then from here we're going to activate the pranks discard special summon token Go into Link Spider, and then go into Anaconda, and Thunder Dragon Fusion, into another Butler, everything will gain 500, and that's game. So yeah, man, you guys obviously know Prank Kids is the best deck right now. If you guys feel free to add me on Master Duel, go ahead. Also, if you guys don't mind, please like the video right now if you guys are still watching. Greatly appreciate it. Helps out the channel a lot. Um, but yeah, if you guys feel free, add me on Master Duel. We can play, post some replays on the channel, yada yada. Uh, but yeah, man. Wish me luck on the tournament. I will be, um, why is my, why is it frozen? Why is it frozen? Ah, okay, it's not frozen. Anyway, wish me luck on the tournament. I'll be posting videos, master videos daily. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.